Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you would like to learn how to make this delicious spicy shrimp pasta with lemon and cilantro, please keep watching. And also a special feature of bloopers at the end. Enjoy, please like and subscribe. Okay, let me show you the ingredients for our dinner tonight. We have some green onions, scallions, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple of pieces there that are a little not looking too fresh, so I'll take those off. You're gonna need some cilantro, uh, lemon. You can use a lime if you want to, but I don't have any lime, so I'm using lemon. Garlic, red pepper flakes if you want it to be spicy, and we like the spice. Some Parmesan cheese to garnish it with. Some shrimp. I have already washed these shrimp, uh, taken off the shell and tail so it makes it easier for my son to eat them. And they have already been deveined, but they still kind of have a little bit, so I scoop that out as well. I pat them dry and they're ready to go. Um, I have a cheese grater. On this side, you use it to zest your lemon or lime, whatever you're gonna use, because we're gonna use the zest in the pasta as well. And then I have pasta. You can do whatever pasta you want, but I am using um, two different pastas because I have two different bags open. I have the spaghetti, a half a bag, and then angel hair. So I'm gonna put the angel hair in after I put the spaghetti in. So I'm gonna let the spaghetti cook for a little bit and then throw the angel hair in there and then dump the water out. So now that you see the ingredients, oh, and butter. Always need some butter. Now that you see the ingredients, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is get started now. This is all step-by-step -step cooking live with children. My son is bringing me a bug. Let's go ahead and put that back. Go ahead and just get everything started, get everything chopped up. Yes, baby. I don't know either. So I'm just gonna chop up some cilantro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the stems for salsa. I used half of it already, uh, I believe, for salsa and tacos. We made tacos not too long ago. Don't eat that, that's raw, buddy. Mm. It's not cooked yet, baby. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm eating the cilantro. I'm oh, you're eating the cilantro. I thought you were eating the shrimp. <laughs> so I told my son that I was going to start recording. And now, and he said that he was going to go downstairs and play. And now all he wants to do is be in front of the camera. All right, my cilantro is chopped. I'm just going to move that to the side. Mommy, mommy, is there any really hard I'm just gonna cut, no baby, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the like limp portions of the green onion. I'm not gonna use all this green onion, I'm just probably gonna use two little stems here. But to preserve the life of it when I put it back in the refrigerator, I'm just gonna peel off some of the dead portions. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put that back in the bag for another use. All right, I'm gonna use pretty much all of it. Some people use just the green portion, some people use just the white portion. I use it all. Just gonna chop that up. All right, so this is there. I'm just gonna go over with my knife, just like I did. I don't know if you can see that. Just like I did with the cilantro, just to kind of mince it a little bit more. All right. Now I'm gonna keep the cilantro and the green onion separate because I'm gonna throw the cilantro in after the green onion. I have a crying child. What happened? I, I, this is real live cooking, step by step, I, I with all the interruptions. The what happened? I, I saw uh, the, the big cup in the air, and I, and I saw it. Okay, all right. It, and then it fell in right here. 
Oh no, it hurt you, I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna throw the spaghetti noodles in. I'll let that cook. Yum! I'm gonna let that cook before I throw in the angel hair pasta. I do have a big like pasta pot, but I just did not want to bust that out. This one's yeah. just fine. You just throw your noodles in there and you just kind of like maneuver the water in the noodles until they're all covered. So, I have my pan, melted butter. I just threw my shrimp in there. Throw some garlic in there. It's about a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna throw all my zest in there. It's about a tablespoon of zest as well. Then I'm gonna throw my green onion. It'll be about a fourth of a cup of green onion. spaghetti noodles see if I need to throw in my angel hair noodles I can probably go for a little bit longer all right I'm gonna toss in some pressured pepper a couple sprinkles here And shrimp cooks really fast, so you have to keep an eye on it. Alright, I'm going to turn the eye off. It's just going through my hand because I don't want any seeds. Let me just take the seeds out. Let me just do the second one. I think I have a juicer somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. Cilantro in. While it is still hot, I used about four tablespoons of butter to saute up the shrimp. It's about 25 shrimp. And I'm about to throw in four more tablespoons of butter for the sauce that's gonna to be tossed in with the noodles. And I'm just gonna set that to the side. Throw my angel pear noodles in. So the noodles are done, drained them, and I put them in my little pot with my resting shrimp and butter, and here we go. It looks so good. I actually did not have to put any salt and pepper in this at all because of the flavor of the cilantro, the green onion, and the butter from the red pepper flakes. Um, you can taste it before, and if you need some salt and pepper, you can go ahead and add that in. All right, baby, tell me what we're having for dinner tonight. Uh, shrimp pasta. 
All right, go ahead and try it, even though you already have. Tell me what you think. Good. It's good? Mm-hmm. You give it a 10? I gave it a 100. Woohoo! Okay, let's see if it's kid approved. What are we having, baby? Shrimp bugs. Shrimp bugs? <laughs> Shrimp pasta. It's a little hot, baby. Be careful. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Baby, go ahead and try the shrimp pasta and tell me what you think. Still not good. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.